Hey everyone, let's look at <clears throat> number four in section 4.1 of Achieve. Um, we're to find the linearization, that's a big word, um, at x equal a for this function here, f of x equals 9x to the fourth, and the value of a is 1. So basically at, at x equal 1 is what we're doing here. So what do we mean by linearization? Basically, the, the bottom line is linearization is just the equation of the tangent line at at that point, you know, so the idea of linearization, again, if we have some function 9x to the fourth, you know, maybe that function looks like that. And near a equal one, we're trying to estimate the value of the function. Um, we can approximate area uh, uh, values of the function near uh, x equal one. All right, so this is at x equal one with with the uh, tangent line, right? So imagine what the tangent line would look like. It's the line, right, that just touches the graph at that point, okay? And so we're approximating that. And if we sort of zoom in just, you know, close to x equal one, the graphs of the red function, f of x, and the graph of the tangent line are very similar, very close, obviously far away, they begin to diverge from each other. But but we're we're using the linearization or the, the the tangent line to approximate values of the function. And that's the power of uh linearization, what we call linearization. Now they give you a formula obviously in the book and I talked about really what we have here is just the equation of the tangent line. So here's the formula I mean you could use the L of X means the linearization for the function. Uh, as a function of x, but it's really just the y value. It's just the graph of this line. So that L of x is just y. The f of a would be what we typically co call the point here. The point is, um, you know, a a is one, right? A comma f of a is is that point, or the point we usually call what x one comma y one when we're talking about the equation of a line. So that's the y one or f of a. F prime of A is what? That's the slope. That's the slope M of line X minus A or X minus X1. And so I can subtract Y1. And here's our regular equation for a line given the slope and a point X1, Y1. And so it's just finding the equation of the tangent line is all we're doing here. Okay. So first thing we need to do is find the slope. How do we do that? We take the derivative of this function. Well, that's a piece of cake. By the power rule, we have X to the fourth is 4X cubed times that 9. 36x cubed is our derivative. So our slope, right? Again, we're looking at the value uh, at x equal one, right? And so I plug in one into that and I get 36 for my slope. What's the actual point x1, y1? Well, x1 is the value of a, which is one. And y1 would be f of one, which just plugging one into the original function obviously gives me nine times one or nine. So one comma nine is the point. So I have y minus the y coordinate, right? y1, which is nine in this case, that's the same as the f of a here, equals m, which is f prime of a or f prime of one, which is 36, times the quantity x minus x of one, which is one or the value of a. And so here's the equation. We, you typically want to solve for y to get the linearization. So I distribute the 36 and then I add nine to both sides and I get that. So there's the linearization, which uh, you know, could be written then as L of X is 36 X minus 27. Okay, so that's all there is to it. So linearization, just basically finding the equation of the tangent line. Hope this helps.